Here we have Hell Breachers on Nintendo Switch, courtesy of East Asia Soft. So we're going to take a look at uh, options here. So we've got language, English, or Russian, and sound and music volume options. So not much there. Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and do heroical, heroical Deed for the difficulty. So here you've got <clears throat> three base classes. You've got the Knight, you've got the Magician, and you've got the Assassin. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Assassin here. And then you've got um, a, a subclass that you can choose from. Oh, okay. So, okay. So the game. Uh, hmm. So the game. Interesting. So you start the game and you pick, let's say, the knight, right? If I pick the knight and I go to next, and I go next, what in the world? Okay, interesting. So my game got erased. That's cool. Uh, well, that's interesting. Um, so I was pretty far in the game, but apparently if you choose a different um, hero, your game gets erased. I'm not sure if that's a, a bug or if that's intentional. It's a little odd. But here I am playing as the knight. So you've got the A button to jump, you've got the uh, B button to attack, and then you've got the uh, Y button for range attack, and then you have your X button for a special attack, like a strong attack. So the point of the game is to go around gathering treasure and keys and unlocking the treasure chests. The treasure chests unlock um, or give you access to additional um, uh, special attacks, whether they be the uh, ranged attack like it's got or the special attack. There's the first boss. I wouldn't actually even call him a well, yeah, I guess I'd call him a boss. Okay, so I can go to the next. Whoa. So I'm using more the more powerful knight here. That was cool. So yeah, apparently if you end up switching characters at the beginning of the game, your entire game gets reset. I did not know that. As I show you each character, but I'm not now. <laughs> Oh, I just died, really? But the uh, game does have uh, some uh, RPG elements you can level up your character. So it's kind of cool. Um, the music... Uh, I mean, the music kind of fits the game a little bit. Um, I would like to see more update music. This seems like more classical style music, which doesn't... I don't I think it doesn't fit the game as well as it could. But uh, overall not bad. Really? There we go. I could just kill him with this, probably. Yep, we can. Let's do that. Whoops. He, he is kind of floaty. And I'm out of... <laughs> Not a shot. It's okay, he's dead now, though. <clears throat> and then you're next to the area. There are, uh, there are like eight 
I want to say they are there are like eight districts or nine districts, maybe ten. Um, and you have about five or six levels each, so there's quite a bit of quite a few levels here to, to play through. Uh, you can't swim; you will die if you end up going in the water. Um, and so yeah, it's pretty much going from you know uh, the beginning of the stage to the end of the stage, gathering treasure, defeating enemies. And I can't go to that, to that one yet. Yeah, I like I don't I like how the the uh, next level up is so floaty. Oh, really? That was lame. <laughs> right into the water. Um, I do think it's kind of funny how when the character falls, uh, it squishes it. Um, not sure why that is, but I thought it was kind of interesting, kind of funny. It's almost as if the character gets deformed when it falls, like it's being deformed by the gravity. And each character take, or each enemy takes about two to three hits to kill. And you can go through each each level without even killing a single enemy if you wanted to. And without get, getting any treasure chests. But yeah, so um, the music does change a little bit between the districts. Uh, it does seem to be the same, though, for uh, the district you're in. Like, for instance, all five levels... Uh, of, of this district or this area, or what do you want to call it, um, is the same. I mean, I, like to, I would like to have seen, in addition to maybe some different music, a uh, different music choice to have um, each of the stages have different music tied to them. But overall, not not a bad um, uh, platformer with RPG elements. Definitely a, a fun game. Definitely worth your time, I think. Um, <laughs> it definitely has a, uh, has its charm. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the review here, guys. Uh, this has been a look at uh, uh, Hellbreachers on Nintendo Switch. Uh, I want to thank uh, East Asia Soft for the great opportunity of the game. I definitely recommend it. Uh, definitely great fun to be had here with this game. And until next time, I want to uh, until next time, <laughs> uh, take care and uh, happy gaming.